Hey guys, it's Hafai back again. This is going to be an update of my year-long project pan roulette collab with a few other ladies, uh, Connie, Leah, Zelma, and Liz. I will leave them all linked down below. This is update number five. Sounds about right. Could be six. <laughs> we started in November, uh, the first of November last year. So, um, yeah, I uh, it'll be in the title when I work it out because my brain is just not working in that particular vein at the moment. Anyway, um, I have not finished anything this month. I have made progress on a few things, but I have not actually finished anything. But first of all. I will go through what I had already finished up until now. Um, so we have the, um, this was the highlighter to hit pan. This is the Natio uh, Enhancer in Warm Day. Let's see, pan there. Um, so I haven't been using it anymore. I have um, like three different highlighters or something on the go at the moment in different projects. Uh, the next one is the BYS uh, High Definition Micro Finishing Powder. Um, I actually used it all up, but I have put in a different powder in here. This is actually the Physician's, Formu Physician's Formula Mineral Finishing Veil, which is in one of my other projects. So, and its container was horrible, horrible. Uh, the Australis Makeup Finishing Spray is all done. Um, one of my favourite products. Uh, I have already rebought that one. The Pond's Age Miracle BB Plus. Um, I don't think they make it anymore. Have not been able to find it anywhere. The Elf Lip Exfoliator. This is the original one. I want to try like the mint one. Um, except they don't have it in Australia yet. The Nivea night cream, all gone. Um, using completely different brand now. The Kmart face primer, which I decluttered because it's terrible. Uh, the product that I had put a new one in for last time because um, it was nearly done and I finished, actually finished it off, is the Eleven Miracle Hair Treatment. I'm actually kind of missing it a little because I actually think it was actually doing something nice for my hair. Um, yeah, and I'm using something different now and um, I don't know. Uh, the Sukin Exfoliator, which was in this container, which has now been repurposed to put in something else. Um, was a face exfoliator that smelled like really nice, like citrusy. Um, the product I'll always repurchase, which was the manicure oil. I've since finished another oil. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and the Urban Skin Care Co. Infused Body Balm is all done as well, has been for ages. So, the things that were still in that have not been used. So, this is where we are at. The Avon Arabian Bronzing Glow Pearl Things um, look exactly the same as they always do. Even though I use them every time I do makeup, I just don't do my makeup often enough. And it's just the kind of product that just I'm sure if I had, like, um, really paid attention, I'd be able to actually see a difference. I mean, maybe if I looked at photos of before and after, I could see a difference. But I'll just keep on using them. They're fine. I, I kind of use the contour today. It's probably a little orange, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, product you'd only buy on sale, which is my Sesh Feet. I um, haven't been doing my nails as much again uh, so I only actually refilled once but this is nearly done um, I think my next update hopefully will be done 
actually all the way down there. This does actually go down quite a way, uh, like the the glass. Actually, look on the side. See where the glass is. Um, so there's probably only one refill left in here. So this one should be done by next update, but I'm not sure. So um, yeah, I'm not counting it as done yet because it ain't done yet. The blush, my oldest blush, the Maybelline Wild Blossom blush. Uh, looks exactly the same and the reason it looks exactly the same is because I have not used it once in the last month. Uh, coloured eyeliner is the Rimmel Scandalize in Bright Blue. Um, this has been sharpened um, but it really hasn't moved much. I used it once um, underneath my lash line. So, yeah, it, it hasn't changed. It still looks exactly the same. Uh, sparkly product is the Sahara Lip Gloss from Cargo, which it was all kind of slivy down. Um, little tiny bit of progress there. Yeah, that's a little tiny. Yeah, so, little tiny bit of progress there. We're, we're, we're kind of... We're probably just over the halfway mark, so I mean, if I just used it more, it'd be done a lot faster. Um, I just clearly don't use it enough. The uh, Sealed Secret lipstick from Clean Color, um, I haven't used it, it won't look any different. I might have used it once. It has this really, every time I take the lid off of it, it's this really nice fruity fragrance, like attacks my nose. Um, the highlighter to hit pan in is the Lorac Perfectly Lit. She used this today, um, but it doesn't look any different. It's still looks exactly the same as it did before. I don't know if I'm ever going to hit pan in that thing. It doesn't really seem to do much for me either, so anyway. Um, a product you always love when you use it is the eyeshadow in the LA Colors uh, palette, which is this one here, which as you can see, I has hit pan in quite substantially, um, but I want to actually use it up, so I haven't taken it out of the project, but either is there's a nice big pan in there, nice big pan in there. Um, the eye cream, the Natural Instincts eye cream. Um, I forgot to shake it down. You didn't help anything, Amber F. Now it takes me even longer to use my products. Uh, I was joking, girl. I was joking. Um, I've used this fairly regularly, but it doesn't look like it's moved much down from there. But it, you know, you use it like a teeny tiny bit, and this is like a huge, huge eye cream container. Um, yeah, and it's supposed to last 12 months, and I can, I can see that lasting me 12 months. Uh, the Anika Face Primer, which was the expensive product, I have no bloody idea how much is in this thing. Um, I have used it several times. Black packaging, no idea. The Rimmel 45, Kate Moss Rimmel 45 lipstick from Rimmel. Uh, I will just, I have used it a couple of times. Um, and the, the usage on it is so insignificant as to not be worth putting a line on. Um, but I have actually used it a couple of times. I just, I don't reapply very much and yeah, these things take forever to use. The Lacura Deep Cleansing Seaweed Facial Scrub. Again, I don't know where I am. I can't see through this, um, but I use this one, um, sort of like alternating with another one that I actually have in a different project. It's fine. It looks kind of weird. That's, that's what it looks like. 
come on, focus. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. It doesn't really smell of anything, so it's like fine in that way. It just, yeah. I don't seem to be getting anywhere with it. The Designer Brands Eye Primer. I have no idea. I, I, every time I do my eyeshadow, I use this and it will be gone when it's gone. Um, I don't know if it actually does any good, but there you go. The Torino Tarantino Purple Velvet, which came in last time, I have not used this at all. So it has not moved. And the last one is the Grace Cole Hand Cream um, in Pineapple and Passion Fruit which I put in last month. Um, I had another hand cream that I was using up, which was a little Kuru one. Um, but that line there was where I started, and that is where I am now. I've probably only been using this for a week. So next time around there should be um, more significant progress. I can literally see, like, every time I take a pump, it just, like, moves, like, a millimetre every time kind of thing. So, um... Yeah, that will get there. So I don't have to add anything else in. I still have 15 products in rotation at the moment. Hopefully next month I will have used up uh, the Sash Feet. So that, that might actually be moved out. That looks like the only product that's close to being done at this point. Um, of course the, the cleansing scrub will probably be like the next thing that goes because it's one of those things that you use a bit more of than a bit more regularly. Um, yeah, I can't see anything else actually being finished. So this is my update for the Project Pan Roulette collab that I am doing in conjunction with the other four lovely ladies. I will leave them all linked down below as I usually do. If you want to subscribe, click down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.